So we're here with Nick from Collis, and he's going to talk to us about some of the new rifle scope products that they've got going on. Nick? Thank you for uh, coming by our shop here, John. Uh, new for 2015, we have two new reticles and a mill-based uh, version for our K624i, as well as an MOA-based uh, scope uh, in the 624i as well. Uh, now those are the SKMR and the SKMR2 reticles, and those were developed with Shannon K out of k and uh, training facility down in Florida. Uh, so we're really happy to work with him and bring these reticles into our scopes. Uh, they're going to be a really big hit. We're really excited about the possibilities. Also new for 2015, Collis was able to actually upgrade a little bit on our optics a little bit further. Uh, it was already a great scope, now it's even better. We have updated knurling as well. So the old style knurling is present on this K312i, which is also new for 2015. But this had a, a finer tooth uh, knurling around it. We decided to try and make things a little bit more aesthetically pleasing by matching the, the turret knurling with a power just uh, ring right here. Okay. So the SKMR, the SKMR2 reticles, mill based uh, version of our popular K624i. The K312i has amazing innovative feature for Collis in that they've put the windage on the left side of the scope. Now this is optimized for right-handed shooter. As you've already seen, you can get a field of view through the scope, maintain your stock weld. With your non-firing eye, you can see your windage setting, you can glance up top, you can see your elevation setting, and also your parallax setting because we have the top mounted parallax adjustment. It makes it the most ergonomic production scope in existence right now. Just very handy, great features to have. Well, we got a chance to handle the products, obviously, before we rolled the camera, and I can definitely say that the, the left-hand windage is a really nice feature in a scope that's laid out like this with the parallax on top. Because as soon as I mount the scope, if I'm going to go through a stage where I'm holding on targets, I'm not going to dial windage, which most of the time I'm not dialing windage, I can verify that my windage is on zero, that it hasn't gotten bumped off in the move, and uh, be good to go. Uh, with the top parallax adjustment, then I've got uh, easy access to both of them without breaking my position. So I'm really interested in uh, getting that into the field and seeing how well it works on the rifle. Also, the, uh, Nick mentioned the, the glass clarity. Obviously, we're inside a showroom floor here, so it's kind of hard to really judge glass clarity, but with the K624i cranked all the way up onto 24 power, looking across into a dingy ballroom, uh, we still got some uh, pretty clear sight pictures, so I'm really impressed with what we've seen here inside the show floor. Now, of course, when we get it out and start working with it in those twilight hours or in Mirage, that's when we'll really see how well the glass clarity works. And to that end, we're really looking forward to uh, working yes. with you guys in the future and, and getting out for some field testing. All right, sure, appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by the booth. Thank you very much for your time, Dave. Excellent, thank you very much.